It may seem pretty simple at first, but a lot can go into the creation of an author photo, particularly a specific author photo for use on the back of a book. I'll use the example of Yippie Kaye Mother Bleeper, a trivia guide to Die Hard, recently came out this year, 2023, the 35th anniversary of the release of the movie Die Hard. And so for the author photo, I wanted to conjure up sort of a parody image related to the film. So the image had to draw the attention of the user who would recognize it as being derived from Die Hard. So obviously, the pose that I use in this photo is a pose very similar to the pose that you see of Bruce Willis as John McClane from the movie posters. Now, it's a little bit different. The angle is a little bit different, but I did want to get that the white t-shirt with the blood stains and the blood and and even the sweat, the 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 sprinkles of water on my face to denote the sweat. I even added a few of the sweat droplets in Photoshop, and they're not even visible on the, the smaller size of the author photo, but I put them there. Another element from that image is the uh the building, Nakatomi Tower, or the tower at Nakatomi Plaza, and the explosions behind it. Well, I thought since I'm a Canadian author, I added in the CN Tower, a Canadian landmark icon, very, very tall, one of the tallest buildings in uh, Toronto, Ontario, of course, and even added little explosions to the top of it. I did go out and purchase a Beretta brand BB gun uh, to pose with for the shot. I looked at a bunch of different toy guns that were available for purchase online, but none of them looked realistic enough. They had didn't have the right colorings or the right shape. And it's not quite obviously, it's it's not the, the same style of Beretta that John McClane has, but but close enough, even making sure that my hands were positioned in the same way that his was. A few other elements from the cover you may note are the uh, broken glass. Uh, and, and that's from the welcome to the party pal scene with John McClane. So I wanted to incorporate that as a bit of a framework just because it felt a little bit too empty. And I wanted multiple images related to the movie to draw you in. A couple other things would be, of course, I have a bald head. And John McClane doesn't become bald until later in the franchise. And I wasn't about to shave my beard just for the author photo. But if Weird Al can get away with doing parodies while maintaining the Weird Al mustache for so many of the early parodies that he did, I suppose it's okay if, if I do the same thing. I mean, imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery after all. And then one of the other elements from the cover, uh, or from the author photo, I should say, that may you may not notice is that John McClane actually has a skull tattoo. It's a skull in a top hat. He has that tattoo. It's not visible very clearly at all in the first movie. You don't see it uh, in more detail in, until uh, I think the third movie in the franchise is where I remember really seeing it for the first time. But because I do have a skull tattoo... Uh, right there, <laughs> I thought, perfect, let's show the skull tattoo. So one of the other reasons that the angle was just a, a little bit different, but again, trying to conjure up uh, some of the same elements that you would see in that author photo for use in my Die Hard trivia book.